everyone. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. I'm gonna try to do an idea I have in my head. If it doesn't work out, it's okay. We can do something else with it. But I wanna try to do a ribbon for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I wanna blow it out with my little with my either my little leaf blower or my little tiny um, hair dryer. I'm not tiny, but my little hair dryer and see how that works. If it don't work out, then we can blow it out and do something different. But that's what I have in mind. And we all know how that ends up. Usually doesn't work out, but it's worth a shot. And I'm gonna give it my best attempt. Since you guys, I'm sure a lot of you know that October is breast cancer awareness month so I want to do a little special piece for that so this is an 8 by 10 canvas and I'm just gonna take my artist loft flow acrylic white I see you you little gnat and flood the canvas which that was probably way too much and what is in there already of course there's something in it already okay so let's just Trying to get this to flow off. Make sure all our edges are covered. Hopefully I'm still in frame. I am. I have been trying to get this camera angles right for you guys <clears throat> so that it's not too far away or out of out of frame or whatever. So hopefully it is good I'm gonna take the torch and pop some bubbles real quick before we get this pink laid down and I'm gonna try to do very small lines so that it's not too much paint and we don't go too big so but I'm not great at drawing either so We'll see how this works out. So let's go, I'll start this way. And we'll just kind of make a ribbon. <laughs> sort of. Sort of make a ribbon there. Okay. Just like a basic, because it's going to blow out anyways. So that was Light Magenta from Master's Touch. And then this is Brilliant Magenta by Artist Loft, but I put some iridescent medium also from Artist Loft in here. So, we'll see how this works out. I've never tried the iridescent medium before. Okay, I think that's good. And then we'll use some rose pink by Liquitex Basic. Kind of get that a little more around. Oops. Good job. I let go of it too fast. It's okay. Um, and Light Portrait Pink by Liquitex Basics. Like so. And then we are going to use some of that Rose Gold from Rust-Oleum. It's the glitter paint. You can get it at Walmart or Home Depot or Lowe's. I believe it comes like in a quart. Something like that. Okay, ooh, pretty. That looks super pretty. Okay. Get some over here. All right. Now, I'm going to put some white around the outside of it, just so we can kind of blow that over a little bit. And we'll see how this works out. Um, let's see, I'll probably use a mini dryer on low. Yeah, on low. 
And I had to learn that when I start to do this, I have to turn these on and get any dust out that may be in there. Get a little bit of the white over. Just a little bit. And let's, I think I'm gonna go like this. ribbon idea did not work out. There's too much white in there. I did this on a small canvas to practice. I really like the way it looks up here. I don't like how that all kind of mixed together. But I do like how this came out. to be covered here. Um, let's see. I kind of like it. Like I said, it did not turn out the way I planned, of course. But I could do this and then I can always put like a vinyl um, decal on the top of it. Like once I um, varnish it, and I could put a pink ribbon on it or something. But what do you guys think? It did turn out pretty. And you can see that pretty um, rose gold glitter in there. Really, really pretty. I like it. Super pretty. Even though I didn't do it like a normal Dutch pour where like there's like negative space, it still turned out pretty. I kind of like how it's blown out and it's just got the white incorporated in spots without it being like big chunks of negative space. I really like that. Okay, I think that's it. I think it turned out really pretty. Definitely not what I was going for, but I will figure out some way to still make this a breast cancer awareness piece. So let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And thank you for watching my video please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to get notified of all my future videos and I will take some pictures and put this put the pictures up at the end of this video to show you guys what it looks like up close a little bit better all right have an amazing day